EMF induced between the ends of the rod. After discussing this, I'll make it one generalized concept so that you can manage, let rod be get oriented anyway, you can work on that one. Now this is the... Circle, so B bar and, and there's a rod which is placing here. Only EMF window record that rod is asking now. So this should be A, this is B, this is O. So what can be this length? This is R. This is equal to R. B bar is everywhere into, I think we have to show it. It is confined to Proceed like this. So, what is uh, how E bar will be? W once again, this idea is coming for you. This will be the direction of E bar. No? Uh, what about for the rod here? Uh, at the place of the rod, uh, how E bar will be? Here it will be tangential to the rod. Uh, again, you can look at this. The magnitude of E, if you write it E1, E2, E3, E4, it will be continuously varying. When you move from A to midpoint, no, the magnitude, that the angle between E bar and DL is varying and also magnitude is varying. So can we really integrate? Not possible, no? So why, why you are not using this formula for EAB? And tell me what is the difficulty I'll encounter here? At different points on the rod, the magnitude of E is different. You see that E1, E2, E3, E4. And also look at the angle, angle between DL and E bar. It is also varying. No? Don't show tangent. <coughs> it will be like this. Huh? Look at that angle, angle between E bar and DL. So where is the DL? DL will be here. This is a DL. So at different points on the rod, E will be different, magnitude will be different, and also the angle made by E bar with DL element will be different here. So can we integrate? Not possible. No? So how this expression, it will, it will end up like this. Huh? will be in a big trouble. So this will be EAB will become equal to E1 DL cos theta 1 E2 DL cos theta 2 and so on EN DL. So then tell me what is the only alternative method. I'll find out total EMF induced in the loop. And since EMF induced is proportional to length, I'll get on the same thing that one. So what is the EMF induced in the total triangle EOABO? This should be equal to EOA plus EAB plus EOB. Now what is EO and EOB? This will be zero. Why zero? Because E bar perpendicular to <coughs> DL. At all points, E bar is perpendicular to DL. So area of this triangle, length is 12. So this is a triangle what we have now. L, this is R. Root of R square minus L square. So half into this will be half into L into root of R square minus L square dB by dt. This will be the I'm uh, getting some method. So like this, the rod, even if extends, previous problem, I extended rod. 
So now you have in matching once in single one matching is there just based on all these ideas. Please do work out that so that anything related to this or previous problem, no, the same from there on I picked up a <coughs> few more options are there. Try to work out them. It'd be much easier. Let me have some yeah. Completed this, this one. Take the next based on the similar concept. A solenoid will produce magnetic field in a region of a circular region of radius huh, in cylindrical region. And the magnetic field varies with the time dB by dt equal to k. A charge particle having charge Q is placed at point P. Uh, here is what a charge particle. It is placed at point P. Now the particle is moved in a direction perpendicular to or two times area, uh, what I did, two triangular. Okay, then th th this is not there. Half plus of that one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And this charge particle 